What we have here today is uh, pretty much the culmination of a very long period of uh, field work that actually extends all the way back to the 1920s with local interest in trying to find the CSSPD and recover portions of it. What we have here is a uh, remarkable uh, piece of history with the CSSPD you know, ship, which was uh, built inland uh, to get away from the uh, blockade of the coast so it could actually be built, could, nothing could be built on the coast during the Confederate War, you know, the Civil War. So what you end up with is a naval yard upriver uh, and a lumber yard with a railroad nexus for uh, support and resources. You have it built by local people uh, using local funds. You have it uh, using the latest technology for the time, and actually in some cases innovative, which is to say that it's not a sail-powered vessel. It is a twin-screwed steam engine-powered uh, ship. It only had three guns, uh, two uh, brook guns, which were distance, which were rifle cannons, and a nine-inch Dahlgren, which was a smooth bore, which was for close quarter support. After the Civil War, everything that was Confederate ended up being the property of the federal government. So the GSA, the General Service Administration, actually owns this vessel. But with the assistance of the local people, uh, city and, and county government, state government, and federal government, we were able to work out a series of agreements that these uh, guns will be on exhibit in Florence County. I think these are more like protective cocoons that formed around the sh around the, each of the cannons. And if, you know, some parts have broken away and it's almost like good as new uh, metal down there. You can read the engravings of the casting marks and everything of that nature. You know, they're in real good shape from being in a freshwater environment is all the difference. So these will look real nice when they're cleaned up. They will come back up fully conserved and they will be on exhibit for the uh, education, edification, and pleasure of the people of South Carolina and any tourist who happens to come and visit.